Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Bitcoin Billionaire. So I'm going to do an assessment tonight about what's going on here, right? We are in this pattern and it looks like we're going to break it soon, either now or later. But I'm going to tell you how you can trade uh, if we are going to break down and if we break up, what should we expect, right? So I have been teaching in the past about this pattern that we were following and I'm not exactly sure that it's following that anymore because we can see that it was kind of following here and then it kind of went up, then went down and went up. It is following a little bit. It's very possible that we, we go back up here. Looks like there's a gap though between both, right? So looks like there's a gap. I, I really cannot say if this pattern is still following. Um, but what I will say is I can, from a good technical analysis point of view, I think what we can imagine and think of that if we break on the downside, that we'd probably go back to this level here that we were. So I put buy orders at 42.77, so about right here. Because a lot of times what happens is, um, is it will go down, won't touch exactly, will bounce back. Okay. If it goes down once, it's definitely going to go back a third time. And a third time is it goes a little bit lower. So we could potentially going back 40. But uh, I can't guarantee you any of those things. So at this point, with the government in America doing what they're doing uh, and the stock markets, as we can see, this is the S&P 500. So we broke support here. We can see that, right? And um, I'm just telling you what I see here because I feel and look at technical. There was this feeling. I'm talking like this is uh, this was support, right? And it broke support, retesting it, and now it looks like it may go back. So if we break this and go down, for sure, I guarantee you that's going to affect uh, Bitcoin pricing, right? So in September, right? this is the level we were we already starting to weaken we the stock market was starting to weaken um there was weakness in the stock market we rebounded right and we went to this we broke through which makes sense but now we're back down so it didn't look like we're gonna make an all-time high in the stock market okay so therefore my confidence in the bitcoin is significantly reduced but doesn't mean i won't put trades as I said, I do believe that if we break down, I have buy orders, it's going to bounce. OK, now that may not happen. It may or may not. But either way, if it does not happen and we go down, uh, let me tell you what I think. And I've talked about that yesterday. I don't want to repeat exactly what I said, but it's still the same plan. And until that changes, I would say that uh, worst case scenario, if we don't uh, support here if we break support rather we will probably go down to the 30,000 and then bounce back and then make it a new high after that so that will be a good place to open trade so you can put 50% of your asset here 50% there right like that's what I'm doing I'm going to open 50% of my assets here 50% here I am willing to put leverage on here but I'm not willing to put leverage here too risky that it breaks support because too many things going on and really, we are at the mercy of what the government is going to do. Are they going to raise interest rates? Are they going to, you know, announce something, right, about to try to, you know, uh, bring the market down because it's overheated and they don't want massive inflation like they already have, believe, up to 8 or 7% inflation rate. That's crazy. I mean, looking 7% inflation rate is crazy. So they understand that, hey, Things are getting too expensive. We need to deal with that. How are we going to deal with that? Well, they're going to stop buying. Uh, they're going to stop buying, you know, some of the bonds. They're going to stop doing that. They're going to raise the interest rates and they need to do something. So that means the S&P 500 will go down and uh, that's expected. OK, so you got to be very careful. I don't I don't know what people are saying. They're like bullish. I am bullish. Yes. And listen. If we do look in a longer time frame, right, uh, we are seeing higher lows, higher lows, right? Even higher lows here, right? It's still higher than that one. And we are seeing higher highs, higher highs, right? So you can see we're still in a long-term uptrend. Yes, I agree with that. But, but 
But <laughs> this is important. Uh, it all depends on what the traditional markets are going to do, right? And we've already broke the support here. We can see that. You know what I mean? Like we broke this. So yeah, we're still seeing a higher high, but barely. I mean, look at that. It's so close. And if we break this support, hey, I got news. We're definitely going down here. Then we're going to go up. But listen, everybody's trying to figure out what's going to happen. Um, yeah, I agree that it's a higher high, but uh, sorry, higher low, but not by much. And I'm not very comfortable with that because listen, uh, to undo that, we just got to go down like 6.6%. That's not a lot. And you know, I was talking about it before that somebody, uh, somebody here, when we were testing this, I had trades open, cost me 200K, right? 200K, it's a lot of money. Uh, not worried about it, but it did cost me that because I had some leverage trades open, but I would say don't use more than 20%. So, you know, um, yeah, anyway, I, I, I would say that be careful using like leverage right now. It's too volatile. And it was manipulation done. Somebody sold like 5,000 Bitcoin in one minute and that crashed the price down. That crashed the price down and then it deleveraged everybody. It was a lot of leverage. Even at that level, we were over leveraged in the market. Not good, right? So anyway, just letting you know, level one support, open trade. Level two support, definitely open trade, okay? But be, lev be careful, do not open leverage on level one. You can open leverage on level two, uh, and I wouldn't put too much. For me, I would limit to 5X maybe, right? Not more than that. All right, guys, I hope that helps to understand how to trade the market. Uh, I just want to make a quick video for you about how to trade and make money. Yes, we're still in a, tr technically, you're right. If you put the ribbon, we're still, and we have to go on the weekly though. <laughs> if we look at the one week, technically, we're barely hanging on, okay? We have tested this ribbon here, right here at the end. And a lot of people think that if we break the ribbon and we break that, that's it. Like we're going to go down. I don't know. Sometimes you can have a wick and come back up and then it like continues up. That's all possible. All these scenarios are like possible. You know, honestly, it's a very risky right now to trade, trade with caution. For me, I would prefer start buying here and here. Those are my preferred buying levels. Now there is another way to trade and that's a breakout, a breakout from the patterns. I will explain that probably tomorrow. All right, but no point talking about it now because it's not happening. We know what's happening right now. We're in a very risky situation. We're on our way down in the short term. We're on our way down, right? That's what's going on. Look, we broke. We were, we were doing great here. Okay, if we want to look at it, we were doing great. We're starting to go up and then we went below the light ribbon. We're going down. This is a downtrend right now on the short term. So question is, where's the support going to be? And uh, yeah, look, even a one hour, we're in a downtrend. Like we're going down and that's all there is to it. So the question is, are we gonna hold at the support down uh, here? Sorry, on the one hour, just to make clear again, right? Because some of you might wonder, are we gonna hold it here or are we gonna break it to 45? And uh, that's, uh, and then 42, sorry. We should go back to, to this point, remember, a lot of times, okay, there are patterns where this does not happen, but a lot of times when Bitcoin has a wick down there, a lot of times Bitcoin will mess around and then eventually come back to the wick before it bounces back. So that's why I have trades uh, ready to happen right there, okay? All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like the content and you wanna make money trading crypto, make sure to subscribe to the channel, Bitcoin Billionaire, and help you make money trading crypto. All right, everybody. Bye for now.